Hi friends, very good morning. Welcome to Anu Academy. Very good morning friends. Let us uh, start today's class. Today's class uh, in our channel, we are going to discuss uh, topics uh, which cover, which will be very helpful for your AE as well as AW preparation. So let us start today's class. The topics uh, which we are going to discuss today in our class are welded joints, riveted joints, springs, thin cylinders, columns. Okay. So these are the topics today we are going to discuss in our class. So let us start today's class. Okay. I think uh, all of you are preparing well for your exam. Right. Okay. Right. So this is the material is uh, material is ready in front of you. Now we will start discussing this material. First we will start with the uh, springs, later we will move to riveted joints, later we will move to welded joints and we will continue with the uh, cylinders and uh, thin cylinders and we will discuss the columns. Okay, So uh, this material will be very helpful friends. If you have not uh, subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel. Thank you very much. Now we will start discussing these topics. The deflection of a closely coiled helical spring of diameter d subjected to an axial load w is 64 wr cube n by c d to the power 4. When one plate overlaps the other and both the planes are riveted with two rows of rivets, the joint is known as double riveted lap joint. In a riveted joint, when the rivets in various rows and opposite to each other, the joint is said to be chain riveted. In a riveted joint, when the number of rivets decreases from the innermost to the outermost row, the joint is said to be diamond riveted. A riveted joint may fail due to shearing of rivets, crushing of rivets, tearing of the plates. So these are the uh, reasons why the rivet joint uh, fails. Okay. Next, in a eccentric riveted connection, if the magnitude of the load is increased, it will affect linear displacement and rotary displacement. The effective thickness of a fillet weld is 0.7 yes. In case of slot weld joint, the shape of the hole is circular or square or rectangular. Any three we can, uh, any three options we can select in case of a slot weld joint. The strength of a welded joint depends upon length of the weld, size of weld, stress of the weld. So these are the three uh, parameters comes under the strength of a weld joint. The strength of a weld joint is equal to L T sigma. The strength of a weld joint is equal to L T sigma. A thin cylindrical shell of diameter D length L is subjected to an internal pressure P. The circumferential stress in the shell is PD by 2T. Okay. The, circumfer the circumferential stress in the shell is PD by, PD by 2T. Next, in a thin shell, the ratio of longitudinal stress to the circumfer circumferential stress is 1 by 2. The design of a thin cylindrical shell is based on internal pressure, diameter of shell, longitudinal stress. A thin spherical shell of diameter D and a thickness T is subjected to an internal pressure P. The tensile stress in the shell plays will be PD by PD by 4T. Okay. PD by 4T. Next, uh, we will continue. A column, a column of length is hinged at its both ends. Its equivalent uh, length will be equal to L. The slenderness ratio of a long column is about 80. 
the value of rankine's constant for mild steel is 1 by 7500 okay it is 1 by 7500 okay so that's all friends for today's class i think uh, this class will be helpful for your ae preparation as well as aw preparation okay please uh, subscribe our channel please like and share our channel if you are having any doubts regarding uh, both the papers that is uh, engineering mechanical engineering and general studies uh, if please post in the comments box i will give you a reply okay please uh, discuss with your friends the class were going on in our channel okay thank you very much thank you for watching